Violent incidents on board flights was a topic in front of Congress today. Aviation leaders testified about the increase in flights involving passengers refusing to wear a mask. CBS 2's Errol Barnett reports. Airline and flight attendant representatives are pleading with Congress to do more to keep air travel safe for everyone. Our colleagues are anxious and fearful. What is going to happen on the next flight? How will this passenger react by reminding them to wear their mask? The number of unruly passenger incidents on flights surged during the pandemic, most over passengers refusing to wear a mask. A recent survey found 85% of flight attendants have dealt with unruly passengers this year, and one in five reported a physical incident. Sarah Nelson with the Association of Flight Attendants testified flights that originate in the South have been a particular problem. We have had uh, a lot of incidents out of Charlotte. We have had a lot of incidents out of the Florida airport and out of Texas. People have been led to believe that we're in conflict with each other. The Federal Aviation Administration implemented a zero tolerance policy and fines earlier this year when it became clear air travel in an ongoing pandemic was becoming unpredictable. As a result, the number of unruly incidents per flight decreased but has recently plateaued. The FAA says Southwest and American Airlines suspending alcohol service has also helped. So it is now asking airports to limit drink to go orders. Only airline employees and specifically gate agents can deny boarding to passengers. Right, so they're going to have to do breathalyzers. All right, thanks. There have been more than 4,300 air rage incidents so far this year and counting. Witness testimony suggested to end the problem, there should be penalties beyond fines, like criminal prosecution from the Justice Department. Errol Barnett, CBS News, Washington.